Hey everyone, hope, hope everyone's doing well. Um, massive congratulations to everyone. The um, results that I'm seeing on, online are awesome. Um, I'm really enjoying uh, taking part in this as well, so it's been really good. Um, so earlier today um, in the group, a question was asked about blenders and what everyone was using. Um, there were many comments ranging from Nutribullets to all sorts of things, and one of the, one of the ones mentioned was a Vitamix. I've actually got a Vitamix, and for anyone else that has one, you'll know how amazing it is. It, it literally can do anything. So um, I, I commented that I would do a video of, of making a smoothie, um, but I actually started thinking about it and realized that I could actually do a three course meal using the Vitamix, only using food on the, the free list that we've got. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so sit back, um, I apologize if the video is a bit shaky, I'm not only used to doing this kind of thing and I don't particularly like seeing myself on screen or hearing myself speak but here we go I'll give it a go anyway so first of all um, I'm gonna do a just a light refreshing smoothie as a starter using some fruit and veggies um, and we'll go on from there um, the one thing I do is the dessert is actually going to be incorporating the the vanilla shake that we have so you could actually do this quite nicely to tie in with your lunchtime shake that you normally have or you could um, you know, do something different for the dessert, just use fruits or whatever uh, and make a different kind of, a, a, a lighter, sweeter fruit smoothie for, for dessert if you want to do this in the middle of, um, in the middle of the plan. Um, also, all the ingredients, and I say they're all on the free food list. Um, if you're on day three and beyond, then feel free to mix and add other bits in that are not necess necessarily on the free list. Um, and, you know, that's kind of self-explanatory, but here we go, let's, let's give this a go. I'm gonna to go to the kitchen now, see you in a second. Okay, here goes. Hopefully there's not too much background noise and you can hear me, my boiler's making a right back at the moment. Um, so in this smoothie, I'm gonna have some celery, a pear, apple, um, kiwi, a bit of ginger, a little tiny bit of lime, and some spinach, and a few ice cubes just to give it a bit more of a, a, a cooler, colder flavor. Um, so, um, here we go, pear, Everything is there, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna, um, I don't need to core the fruit or anything. All I'm gonna do is literally just chop it in half. Um, I'm not gonna use all the ginger, I'm just gonna use maybe like a little tiny thumbnail of it. And in terms of the lime, I'm just gonna use a very, very small wedge. So I'll prepare that now and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, we've got the ingredients chopped. Um, we've got a little tiny bit of ginger. You can see I'm only using a, a very small amount. You can use more or less, depends on your, on your palate. Um, a little tiny wedge of the lime. Um, I've chopped the apple up into quarters, the pears into quarters, celery into halves, and I've just peeled the kiwi and, and chopped that into half. That's all I need to do. So in my Vitamix bowl, I don't know what that's gonna look like on camera, but <laughs> in there, um, I've just got uh, three ice cubes. Um, so then I'm gonna handful of spinach in there, drop in the pear, the apple, the celery, the kiwi, the lime, the ginger. I'm just gonna put a little splash of water in as well. Not, not a lot. And that's it, all ready to go. So really simple, you don't need to do anything. Just bung that all on. And then uh, we just blitz it. So the Vitamix has got um, on off. It's got a, a scale of one through to 10. And then it has um, a super high power flip there, which just kind of doubles this more more or less. So first of all, just start it off low. And then just crank up the speed. however long you want to leave it it depends if you're doing a much larger smoothie for more than one person then you might need to use it a bit longer you also have um, like a little um, what they call a little damper so you can take this off here and you can if things are not getting into the blade you can kind of bash it down a bit and force things in but um, that's it so now it's just time to uh, to drink and enjoy so let's get a glass Nice green smoothie, fruit and spinach, and all the healthy things from our free food list. So this is our callot, pallet, pallet. This is our palate cleansing starter. Enjoy.
So whilst I'm still drinking my smoothie, because I want to take my time and enjoy my starter, um, I'm going to start getting everything ready for the main course. The main course is going to be soup. Now you might think, wait a minute, you've got to start boiling vegetables, doing all that sort of stuff, then blitzing it all and seasoning it and everything like that. The Vitamix is really cool, you don't need to do any of that. So what I'm going to do is just basically a tomato soup. The recipe I found online um, on one of the Vitamix websites has got a couple of ingredients which if you're on day one or two you can't have, so it's got carrots, um, cashew nuts, yeah, carrots and cashew nuts are in the in the uh, recipe. I've omitted the cashew nuts because I'm, I'm not particularly a fan of them anyway, um, but I am having um, a little bit of carrot in mine. It's only about 25 calories worth of carrot, so it's fine. So here we go with the ingredients. Um, I've got juice of one lemon. Um, I've got about 50 grams of red pepper. It's about half a red pepper. I've actually de-seeded that um, and cleaned that up because I'm, I don't want the seeds in there. Um, about 50 grams of red onion. Um, I've got about 50 grams of celery there, a couple of bits of spring onion. I say there's half a carrot there, which is like 25 calories worth of carrot. Um, I've got four big juicy red tomatoes, um, clove of garlic, and then in my little um, egg cup of spices, I've got some cayenne pepper, ground cinnamon, oregano. And then in my jug, um, I have in here 250 mils of almond milk and 250 mils of water. Um, it is cold water. Um, you might be thinking, what am I doing putting cold water in a soup? But believe me, this is going to work. And it, it, it's, it's cold water. I can't stick my finger in because obviously I'm going to contaminate it with my finger then. Um, but cold water, cold milk, cold ingredients, raw ingredients, nothing fancy done to them. Everything's there. You know, skin taken off the garlic, obviously. I've taken the seeds out of the pepper. If I want, I could add a little bit of chilli in here to give it a bit of heat. Um, but, you know, I think I'm going to get a bit of heat from the cayenne pepper anyway, so I don't want to push it overboard. Okay, so basically we're just going to dump all of that in the Vitamix, as it is, as you see it there. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, still drinking my smoothie, all good. Um, here we go, everything is in the Vitamix. And as you can see, I literally have just dumped everything in. The spring onions all in the hole, still got the, the roots on and everything. Just dump it all in, put the lid on, and this is the fun bit. Let's put it onto our Vitamix. And let's start it off. I might actually need to get the damper out for this, hold on. Okay, I've got my damper. Yes, it looks rude, um, but it's, it comes with this, honestly. So first of all, we're gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna keep it on quite low to start with, just so it starts to get those ingredients. And then we're gonna start to increase the speed a little bit. Looks like I don't need the damper after all. Turn it up to 10. Up to full power. Okay, so obviously there was a, a bit of a cut in the video and then. Um, this has been running for six minutes, okay? Um, you can leave it going a little bit longer if you want, um, but yeah, I, I just turned this off after six minutes. And if you remember, everything that went in it was cold. All the um, the liquids in it were cold. If I just open this lid, uh, I don't know whether that'll come out on camera or not, but there's a bit of steam coming out there. Yep, you've got it. This Vitamix will actually heat up the soup and cook it for you at the same time. And that's all down to the, the blades basically they're, they're kind of like super the motor in the um, the motor in the Vitamix and the blades combined cause friction heat up the contents and you get a nice hot steaming soup so I'm gonna go and enjoy my main course I know it looks a bit brownish but then you think the ingredients that gone it you expect that um, I'm going to um, freeze the rest of this chill the rest of this reheat it in the microwave a few meals there you know I live on my own so I don't um, have anyone to, to share it with, ho oh, boo hoo. Um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my soup and I'll be back shortly for dessert. Hey, okay, so that soup was super yummy. I think I probably overdid it with the cayenne pepper, it had a bit of a kick to it. So if you're going to give that particular flavour a go, just make sure you adjust that to, to your palate. If you don't want spicy, then just omit it out completely. But what I realised as, as I was eating it, going, oh, this was really nice, I looked into the kitchen and saw something on the side there my fresh basil. I forgot to add the basil into it. But it didn't matter. It didn't make, you know, it still tasted nice without it, but there should have been basil in there as well. Okay, dessert. So we all love ice cream, right? And one of the things, you know, we can't have is ice cream. It's like, no, oh, no, boo -hoo, I want my ice cream. Well, the good thing about the Vitamix is you can actually make ice cream in it really, really easily. So I decided to see if I could make the ice cream instead of using the cream that you would normally use for ice cream, actually make it using um, like the shake, so like the vanilla shake or the chocolate shake. 
So I'm going to give that a go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a much smaller quantity of milk, um, but still use the, the full scoop of the, the I'm going to use vanilla in this case. So st still use a full scoop of the vanilla powder, um, but in a smaller quantity of, of milk. I'm going to mix that up first, blend that, and then we're going to hopefully create the ice cream. This could go all horribly wrong, but let's give it a go. Here we go, ice cream experiment number one. I've never done this before. This is a um, complete trial and error. It could be a complete disaster, um, but let's let's give it a go and let, let's laugh at my failings if it doesn't work. So in here, um, I've put in one scoop of the vanilla and I've only put in 150 mils of milk this time around. I just wanna keep the quantity of the milk a little bit lower. Um, hopefully that'll make sense when it comes to, to making this into ice cream. If you're not on uh, day one and two and you wanted to add a little bit of extra sweetness, um, you could just add a little bit of honey in here if you want at the same time. Um, I'm not. Um, I'm using coconut milk this time around and I think that's got quite a nice natural sweetness along with the sweetness of the, the vanilla shake anyway, so I don't want to add any more to that. So first of all, I'm just going to blend these together because um, I, I want this to be all mixed up before I start doing anything else. So that'll do, that's just mixed up the milk. So I'm just gonna put that back into my jug and then in here, I'm gonna add some frozen fruit. Okay, so in here now, I've got um, frozen strawberries and some frozen blueberries. What they suggest is um, for one part liquid, you need three parts frozen fruit. Um, I was a bit short on blueberries, hence why I've just topped it up with strawberries as well. I mean, I don't, it's all the same isn't it so this is the, the 150 ml of the coconut milk and the vanilla shake that we had and um, that I just blitzed earlier on so just pop that in and then hopefully the magic will happen so what we need to do is pop the lid back on we need to turn it on um, slow first and then we need to very quickly blast it as quick as we can and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed this will turn into ice cream So um, yeah, turn it off, um, all being well, this will be solid as it is and it looks very much ice creamy. It's The, the blueberries I had weren't 100% frozen so it's not going to be totally ice cream like but you know what, I'm pretty pleased with that, it ain't that far off um, and what a much better way, or an alternative way, not a better way because the shakes are really nice anyway, but what a nice alternative way to enjoy your lunchtime protein shake with protein ice cream or whatever it is. Look at that. That is, that is I'm really impressed with that. So let me, uh, let's give it the taste test. Wow. That's really good. I think that's my new, um, my new variation on a shake. Absolutely. Delicious and simple. And three courses in a Vitamix using all of our free foods. So roll on tonight's 600 calorie meal. Don't know what I'm going to have yet, but let's see. I'm going to go enjoy this ice cream. So good luck, everybody. Um, keep doing well. You're all doing fantastic. And um, here's to uh, we drop.